डॉक्टर जयकाल की शैतानी ताकतों के सामने कोई नहीं टिक पाता अंधेरा कायम है और अंधेरा कायम रहेगा हमेशा हमेशा अंधेरा कायम रहेगा Remember the 90s we were hooked to the TV weren't we Swat Cats Dexter's Laboratory Scooby Doo Johnny Bravo Mahabharat Tendulkar smashing fours and sixes in Sharjah there is always too much to watch and too little time but ask any Indian 90s kid what their favorite TV show was while growing up 9 times out of 10 you're going to get a single answer Shaktiman but as much as i love shaktiman today's video is not a love letter to the mukesh khanna classic it's about how shaktiman ripped off other popular characters back when there was limited access to the avengers justice league star wars and everything else that we consider pop culture today let's start with the easiest and most obvious with a power set like flight super strength super speed super agility super stamina telepathy space travel matter manipulation and god knows what else it's evident that the creators had superman in mind when they set out to create the show it also doesn't help that both big blue and big red's alter egos work at a newspaper and pretend to be bumbling idiots heck they even have reporter girlfriends both also become powerless in front of a special stone kryptonite in case of superman and pop punch or the stone of sin in case of shaktiman although the color of his costume seems to have been inspired by the flash like superman he also has a big s printed on his chest what's the s stand for it's not an s on my world it means hope The Superman connection goes even further with the Suryanshi's hideout in the Himalayas being a very bad copy of Superman's Fortress of Solitude. The intrepid reporter who gets into trouble for questioning those in power who is also the girlfriend of the main man. Ring any bells? No, I'm not talking about Lois Lane or Iris West. I'm talking about Geeta Vishwas who was the romantic interest of Shaktiman and an icon for young girls in India much before feminism was even a thing. Well, she sometimes played the part of the damsel in distress though, needing Shaktiman to bail her out. Shaktiman. The main big bad of the show is clearly modeled after Dark Side and Dark Sidious. His tagline, "Anera kaam rahega," literally means the dark side. And what he means by spreading darkness is clearly a reference to the anti-life equation from DC Comics. Some of you might say Dr. Jackal was copied from Dr. Hugo Strange from DC. But while I agree with that, Dr. Jackal was based more on Lex Luthor. Why you ask? Well, like Luthor, he was always exploiting technology to get the better of Shaktiman. He managed to create Ant-Man's pim particles. He created Sunanda who had almost the same power set as Shaktiman, which was a copy of Superboy. Jackal even created an exact clone of Shaktiman which Luthor could not but it goes even deeper folks remember Christopher Reeve Superman 4 where Lex and Lenny steal a strand of Superman's hair from a museum to create Nuclear Man well Shaktiman did the same and brought in Light Man which was a bad carbon copy <laughs> आखिर द ग्रेट शैतान साइंटिस्ट डॉक्टर चैकॉल ने शक्तिमान को काबू कर ही लिया द सूर्यान शीज लिविंग इन मुंबई वे आर क्लियरली अ वेरी वीक कॉपी ऑफ द एक्समैन अभिमन्यू वॉज काइंड ऑफ लाइक स्टॉर्म विद द एबिलिटी टू हार्डनेस विंड शिशिर वॉज अ पावर डाउन जीन ग्रे विद द पावर ऑफ टेलीकनेसिस एंड विद्युत वॉज साइक्लॉप्स विद द एबिलिटी टू प्रोजेक्ट ऑप्टिक ब्लास्ट संजीव वॉज क्लियरली डॉक्टर चार्ल्स जेवियर and it's kind of cute that they even had their own version of cerebro with very bad cgi these guys even had their own version of the x jet 
and last but not the least there was a storyline involving Akansha as well who was a very poor copy of Rogue remember 1999's the mummy starring Brendan Fraser and Rachel Weisz one episode was basically the mummy in hindi a group of archaeologists went to an excavation site where they came across a mysterious tomb just like the movie the mummy was accidentally awakened and proceeded to wreak havoc before being defeated by Shaktiman the set pieces if i can even call them that of dr jackal's spaceship evidently took a cue from star wars we even got stormtroopers the tendency to copy star wars goes even deeper as the obi-wan kenobi of shaktiman sports a lightsaber in one of the episodes and of course there is a star wars style duel of lightsabers with darth vader and obi-wan kenobi well i mean kilvish and mahaguru Mr Subkar the guy who was desperately trying to copy Amitabh Bachchan was presented as a member of an intergalactic protection force of the universe definitely this was their version of the green lantern core one of the many instances where they butchered the characters they were based on well speaking of butchering and star wars we also got instances of some aliens in spaceships which felt like what would happen if a 4 year old kid made star wars then there were evil versions of the men in black in some of the episodes who were the henchmen of the city's mafia lord and sometimes clashed with shaktiman and his gurus the men and women in black yeah we all love catwoman right you know the cat burglar and anti hero who has an on off romance with the cape crusader well the guys at shaktiman clearly didn't because they gave us a poor excuse of a character called billy who can well turn into a cat poor cgi aside the story gets really weird she was defeated when shaktiman took her to a mandir hum dono ko billi banne ka bahut shauk tha main main hamesha kali billi bana karti thi aur wo hamesha safed billi one instance from the show where they didn't even bother changing the name was toy man the toy man from shaktiman was inspired from toy man a villain in dc comics and an enemy of superman same goes with electric man who was a very poor copy of livewire from the superman rogues gallery oh and there was also a guy rendered using horrible cgi who was modeled after the superman villain parasite we even got an unintentionally funny character in the early episodes which was copied from the chameleon so there you go I think I covered most of the elements Shaktiman ripped off from other popular characters. If you guys think I missed any, do let me know in the comments below. Nostalgia is a funny thing, isn't it? Looking back at the show, newer audiences might cringe at the expository dialogue, corny CGI, cheesy costumes, and convoluted and ridiculous plot points. But what it does for me is take me to a time that was simpler, when Sundays 12 noon meant dropping everything else. and sitting down in front of the trusty CRT TV to watch Shaktiman almost makes me feel bad for making this video well almost hello sorry shaktiman thanks for watching please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it click on the little bell icon to be notified whenever a new one comes out don't forget to share this video with your friends i'll see you guys next time